oh my god oh my god <laughs> i felt earthquake tremors i felt earthquake tremors for the very first time in my life and i <laughs> More than being nervous or more than being afraid, I was actually very excited <laughs> because uh, I felt them for the very first time. You know, I called my family up and I told them, you know what, I experienced this. Oh my God, I experienced this for the very first time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but see, uh, on a serious note, guys, I hope all of you all are fine. All of you are safe there. And let me know if you also... Uh, experienced earthquake uh, comment below let me know where were you during that time and uh, yeah just let me know and so yeah guys so today we will be talking about this look that I'm wearing today I would like to call it a neutral smoky eye since of course this is a smoky look but at the same time the colors that I've used are more earthy brown shades uh, with just a hint of black um, I know a lot of people who love smoky eye or others but they're not able to uh, achieve the same results on themselves so this is for those guys uh, if you find it really difficult to work with those bold dark colors and end up looking like a raccoon or you end up looking like someone just punched you on your face this is for you guys because we are using just the you know various shades of brown and uh, this is also for those guys who do not feel comfortable wearing this the you know full glowed black smoky eye look so this is something that you can work with and if you're not comfortable you know blending those colors out so this this would really help you out this is definitely a very smoky look but at the same time it's very very neutral very variable you can wear it during the day you can wear it during the night you can pair it up with a nude lip like you know i am wearing here or you can definitely pair it up with uh, just a bright and a bold lip color so it's totally up to you it's a very very versatile uh, look and it would suit everybody whether you have brown eyes whether you have blue eyes you have green eyes this look would suit you very well so before we move ahead uh, to the tutorial i would like to let uh, let you guys know what all colors we'll be using so basically there are four colors that we will be using three of them come from the brown family and one is black so the very first color that you need to use is um, an orangey peachy brown shade so uh, get that kind of a shade which has orange undertones which has peach undertones and little bit of brown in it uh, second we need a very neutral uh, brown which is like a true brown shade uh, the third color that we will be using is a brown with a hint of red so it's a reddish brown shade and fourth color you can either use a black eyeshadow or you can use a dark gray eyeshadow which almost looks like black so it's totally up to you so yes these are the only four eyeshadow shades that you would require to achieve this look and yeah guys so if you want to know how to get this look then please keep on watching so we're gonna start off by moisturizing our face uh, I'm using premier I'm using one by premier Etsy cosmetics so uh, yes, it's really very important that you moisturize your face really well before you can start off by applying uh, makeup. And yeah, you should always let your uh, moisturizer work its magic and let it sit there for you know five minutes at least uh, before you can apply any makeup on the face. So just massage the moisturizer well into the face. Uh, now to let the moisturizer soak in, uh, I thought I would uh, meanwhile put the concealer or uh, the primer on my eyes. The one I'm using is by Garnier. It's the Garnier Tinted Roll-On in the shade Light. So just applying that and blending it out with my finger. Oh. It's really hot, just needed a water break. Next I'm going to set my concealer or primer with a setting powder. The one I'm using is by Makeup Revolution. It's the press powder they have in the shade Translucent. You must have uh, seen me using this in my previous videos as well. So using a brush. Uh, it's a concealer brush and I'm using it to apply the setting powder. Uh, now the moisturizer has soaked in and I'm going to apply a light layer of foundation all over my face. This is called the One Foundation, uh, which is again by Makeup Revolution. And this is in the shade 9. It's really nice, really 
lightweight, uh, something which has uh, somewhere between sheer to medium coverage. Uh, I really, really like this foundation. It's that perfect everyday foundation. Uh, it doesn't feel heavy. It's not like extremely matte. It has a really satiny texture. I mean, I, I really, really love it. And you don't really feel like you're wearing anything on the face. So just dotting it all over my face and blending it with my face clean fingers. So I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow and the very first eyeshadow I'm going to use is a PG orangey shade from the elf hundred piece uh, eyeshadow set and using a fluffy blending brush I'm going to apply this color in the area above the crease and I'm going to uh, blend this out all the way up till the brow bone. So I, I usually don't take a, uh, any color that far but doing this would give it a more smokier look so uh, I am going to start off by applying this color in the outer uh, socket of the eye first and then slowly I'll blend it uh, inwards using uh, windshield wiper motions next I will be taking the makeup revolution make believe palette and taking the dark brown shade uh, from the palette I will be applying this directly onto the crease using a pencil shader brush uh, I'm using this brush to get the maximum intensity on the crease. I'm not blending it at this time. I'm just focusing on depositing the color onto the crease for maximum intensity. So uh, I'll start applying the color from the outer corner of the eye and I'll take it uh, in towards the inner corner. Uh, make sure to avoid the tear duct area completely. So just depositing the color and blending it a little bit. Do not worry about the blending part, we will uh, be using a different brush for blending this color out. Uh, I am also applying this dark brown shade uh, on the outer corner of the lid, sort of creating the V. Next I am taking a fluffy blending brush, this is the same brush that I used for applying the peachy orange shade earlier and I am using this brush to blend this dark brown shade. I am not blending it out uh, towards the brow bone. I am just blending it so I can make it sort of softer um, but just a little bit. I want that intensity to stay on the crease area. Now next I am taking now taking that reddish brown shade from the elf hundred piece eyeshadow palette I'm going to take that shade on a fluffy blending brush and I will be using it for blending out the dark brown color that we had placed in a crease uh, we are just going to soften the edges of this dark brown shade uh, so that it transitions easily and beautifully into the reddish brown shade uh, I'm not going to take this dark brown color you know, far uh, in the area up above the crease so just keep that in mind and uh, with very light hands blend this color beautifully uh, next I'll be taking a black shade from the same elf hundred eyepiece uh, eyeshadow palette and using a pencil shader brush I'm going to deposit this color on the outer corner of the lid uh, in the form of a V you want to make sure that you layer up this black color slowly and uh, little by little you don't want to go you know all black with full intensity in one go that can end up uh, ruining the whole look uh, next taking the same blending brush I'm going to blend out the edges of this dark black shade uh, do not take this cut out of that socket just try and blend out the edges of this shade Now I, I thought I lost the intensity of the dark brown color that I had put on the crease so uh, I went back again and deposited the color on the crease. And now I am going to set my BB cream with a translucent powder. I am using uh, the Makeup Revolution's uh, translucent setting powder and I'm going to apply this with a fluffy flat 
top brush next I'm going to bronze my face so uh, for this look I decided not to contour but just to bronze and for this I am using philosophy supernatural coloring book it has this very light very neutral brown shade which is just apt for contouring uh, it isn't too dark it isn't too orangey it is just the perfect shade and since it's not highly pigmented so you can't really go wrong with that so uh, taking a, an angular blush brush I'm going to bronze my cheeks my temples the forehead and I'm also going to uh, apply this on my jawline Next I'm going to highlight my cheekbones and for that I'm going to use the same shimmery champagne color that I used for highlighting my brow bones and I'm going to apply it in the form of a C right from uh, your cheekbones up until your brow bone and I'm also going to apply it on my cupid's bow which I think I forgot to record. So now moving on to the lips, I'm going to start off by applying Color Essences Nude Sued Lipstick which is a dark brown, dark matte brown I would say. But since it's too dark for me, I'm going to top it off with um, Ori Flames Vivid Lipstick in the shade Baby Beige. It's a very very light, very pale skin tone sort of nude color which almost washes me off so I always top it, uh, use it with darker shades. And finally I'm going to apply a layer of transparent lip gloss for those luscious, big and I mean yeah, luscious lips. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That finishes our makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, this was a pretty easy look and I really really wanted to do this for the longest time time uh, so yeah uh, please do not forget to comment below and leave your feedback if you like the video give it a thumbs up and yeah if you feel like share the video as well it will help me reach out to a lot more people and that will really help me a lot so yes I think that's all I have to say so yes guys um, please 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 share your feedback as that really really makes me happy uh, and do not forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button down below it would really really help me a lot so yeah I think that's all I have to say today and I will meet you guys soon in another video until then as I say stay beautiful and stay blessed bye